230. He said, be here at 230. Oh, I'm here, Paul. right? It's Jeremy. Well, hey, Jeremy. I'm Paul. Welcome to Tech Talk. Oh, brought to you by the Kentuckiana TRC. Uh, you need to get a watch? Oh, sorry I'm late. I got caught up in this thing. What's wrong with Compact Logic? Uh, brand new. Got it out of the box. Wired it up. Had it wired up. I just pulled it in here to bring it over so I could get your assistance with it. Yeah. Powered it up. Plugged an Ethernet port into it. I don't know what the default IP address is to get online with it. There is no default IP address in those controllers. Period. No dip switch is nothing. You have to set that up electronically. Why? Why? Does yeah. it not come with an IP address? Yeah. Well, well, just think about it. If you had this in your plant and you just pulled it out of the box and plugged it into the network and it had an IP address. Oh, that could be bad. What if there was another one of those same addresses on the network? You wouldn't want that to happen. <clears throat> probably not. That's yeah, probably, probably not. So that's kind of being good for me then. Well, that's It's there to protect you. That oh, is correct. Okay, that I is correct. You. Keep good people from making bad things happen yeah. accidentally. Yeah, that's why that's how bad things happen most of the time. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. So, oh, uh, yeah, we yeah. Got, you had, okay. when you get that set, you're not done, you've not used the boot P utility in order to do that before? Where did I get that in? It comes with, so whenever you download and install in the Rockwell uh, Studio Editors, um, 500, 5000, any of those software applications, the boot P utility automatically gets loaded. Oh, it's already on my computer. Then. Yeah, if you've installed any of the Rockwell software, it's on there. That's oh. what that's the reason it installs is so that we can set those IP addresses in those devices. Oh, okay, cool. That's let me show you how to do it. I will be amazing, brother. All right, man. Well, let me let me uh, just get my laptop and I'll hook it up. And we'll show you how it works. Okay. Awesome. All right, hang tight. All right. So Jeremy, I already had boot pink pulled up, and uh, what we're gonna do first before we turn the controller on is I want to look at the network settings and we'll see this is the IP address of my laptop but the subnet there needs to also be what the subnet is of my laptop. So you can see here in the camera picture we just turned on the controller and it's going through its boot up sequence. So um, what we're looking for is a mic ID to pop in when communication establishes. Okay and that mic ID on this one is actually what's it's a sticker it's on the front of that controller. That address should show up in my top window of boot P once it establishes. Oh, there it comes. The link light popped up and the Mac ID popped up. That's right. So I'm just gonna double click, simply double click. And I'm gonna put an IP address in here, 192.168.1.10 and click okay. So the IP address should be set now. So we're gonna just check it by doing a simple ping command. So we're just gonna ping that controller, 192.168.1.10. And look at that, Jeremy, reply. Oh, nice. Reply, reply. So, We'll close this down. One last step that I always like to do is I go into uh, links, RS links, and do an RS who find the controller, the drive, the panel view, or whatever it was, IO module that you set the IP address for, right? So I always like to right click on it and uh, the properties box should come up and then we're gonna click on module configuration, okay? So on that port tab, um, you can see right now it's set for obtain. We wanna set it to manual. Yeah, we already set it to manual? No, we temporarily set the IP address to manual. It, if we rebooted the controller, it would come back up looking for an IP address again. It would clear oh, it out. Oh, so we basically disabled boot P right there. That's exactly I right. See. So I set it to manual, so it kept that dot .10. Now, I'm kind of anal about things. I like to go in and just double check and make sure that it took. So double check, sure enough, manual configuration, dot .10. All right, Jamie, there you go, bub. Easy peasy, man, that wasn't bad. Yeah, not bad at all. No, I'd seen boot P before, but I'd been forever, I just, couldn't remember that it was there. Yeah. Yeah. So think of Boot P is almost like a, a DHCP server. You plug your laptop into the to a, a wall outlet at the office, and you get an IP address. Well, in essence, that's kind of what Boot P is is acting as that IP address server, if you will. Yeah. So we just had to go in and tell it what address to give it, and then uh, from there we got straight online. So change it to static. We're ready to rock and roll. Ready, ready to awesome. Go. Well, I'm gonna go put it back in the machine. All right, man. Appreciate the help. All right, bud. Glad I could help. That's it for Tech Talk today. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.